afternoon good afternoon have you guys been looking for me well guess what you found me in the kitchen with angela creole roots all things new orleans today 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 i'm in a house i am making something you may not know about and then some of you may we're making some fish stew red gravy for the cajuns it's called cubion for the Creoles is called the same thing, Cubion. Spelled a different way, but it's still fish stew, red gravy. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I have my pan all hot and ready. We're going to start doing this recipe today. I have some good old fish right here. We're going to start off with the pan is getting ready right now, and we're going to go ahead and cook up this fish, okay? So one second. I'm going to get me a plate, and as I get my plate, I got to season up my fish and my shrimp. So we're using some white fish today. Uh, I already cut them up into chunks. That's what I wanted to do, so that's what it's going to be. Here it is. I cut them up into cube-sized pieces, if you guys can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to season it up with some Creole seasoning. And then I have some good old shrimp right here. They've already been deveined and cleaned. Okay. And then I'm going to start my pan with some butter. Drop that butter in there. I didn't want to use olive oil. I didn't want to use grapeseed oil. I just wanted to use some good old rich butter, right, in my pan. And while that's cooking, you know, melting, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and add some Creole seasoning to my fish. And I'm gonna add some Creole seasoning to my shrimp, right? So the butter is melting down real good. <coughs> Forgive me. I always have to cough <coughs> or sneeze when I use Creole seasoning. So I'm just going ahead and I'm seasoning up my fish. I had some blackened seasoning, but I didn't want to use that because this Cubillon is gonna be delicious. We don't always need that, right? So. I'm going to drop a little more Creole seasoning right there. And fish doesn't take that long to cook. No seafood does. So I'm going to just drop that in. And we're going to let it cook, say, three to five minutes. Then we're going to pull it out. Get that in that pan. We're gonna pull that fish out after. Don't, 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 don't move your fish around. Just let it cook in that butter, okay? So then we're gonna get the shrimp on this plate too. <clears throat> and it should take only three to five minutes. It should start turning pink, you know? So basically, This is going to be as healthy as I can get it. I'm not going to use flour for my root. <laughs> I'm going to use cornstarch instead. Same thing, but no carbs. That's what I'm, I'm, my goal is. Because we're going to be using rice with this dish, so we don't want to do carbs overload. So I have my good old shrimp. It's looking great. We got this fish here. We're gonna go ahead and let it saute on each side. I may get another pan because I wanna drop the fish onto a clean, a clean plate, right? So while that's doing the most, I'm gonna go ahead and get another plate. <clears throat> so I have my cornstarch right here while the fish is cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a cornstarch slurry. I'm 
And this is a tablespoon, two tablespoons, right? So I'm gonna push that to the side. And then what you do is you add water. So just stir that around, it's a slurry. So that's gonna be a good base. I'm gonna add a little bit of Creole seasoning to it. It won't hurt. Also, I'm gonna be using some red wine, putting that to the side for now. And I also have some stock, which is from the shrimp, okay? So, I'm turning my fish over. We're gonna use some dry red cooking wine, you know? So I'm just trying to flip over my fish. Then we're gonna put it onto a plate. It's browning pretty good already, you guys. So. I'm excited about this dish, this couvillon. Like I said, follow me on my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. This is In the Kitchen with Angela. Coming to you with another video. <clears throat> Just browning the fish on each side. Then we're going to pull it out. And I hope you guys can see this well. So this is Kubion, a good old red fish stew. Then we're gonna drop the shrimp in there. Just cooking it on both sides. I don't like fish that stinks, right? I don't think anybody likes seafood that stinks. So I wanted to use sway. I know we're supposed to use red snapper or a red fish or something like that. But you can, like I said, this is my kitchen. You could do it how you want. It's still gonna be a fish stew. So I'm just going ahead and seasoning that fish up. Let's see one here that needs to be flipped over. Another one. So this is called Cubillon fish stew. For New Orleans people, you can serve it with rice. It could be raw brown rice if you want, but it's normally served with rice with some vegetables on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my fish now. And it has good color on it. You wanna keep the fish whole. So we're now gonna add the fish back into the dish until later because we want to keep the bite-sized pieces of fish. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and drop my shrimp in the same pan. We're going to let the fish cook up and spread it out. Shrimp got to cook. And the fish is right here, you guys. It's looking real good so far. All right. So all we're doing is we're going to marinate it. You can marinate the fish and the shrimp for 30 minutes up to overnight if you want. More flavor, but it's going to be bursting with flavor anyway. All my dishes are. So I'm not bragging, but I can't get down, right? So I just want to go ahead and let my shrimp cook until it starts turning pink on both sides, right? So, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get out my tongs. And it's already turning pink already, so I'm flipping them over. We're going to cook them on both sides. And if you like this recipe for fish stew, Cubion, all you have to do is 
Look in the description down below. You'll see the recipe. Always have a recipe. Now, I was talking about grapeseed oil. Uh, right now, it's very expensive, so I decided to use butter. You can still use alternatives in your kitchen. And if you don't like grapeseed oil or you're allergic to it, then that's a surefire way to uh, switch up. You can use olive oil or anything like that. We're not going to add the fish back in until after we get everything started and going, right? So, of course, in any New Orleans kitchen, we're going to use the Holy Trinity. Let me turn on this uh, fan. We're gonna use the whole. We're gonna use the Holy Trinity. What the Holy Trinity is is bell pepper, celery, and onion, and then we also had a little garlic powder, all of that kind of stuff. This is ready to go, so I'm gonna drop the Holy Trinity in there right now. The bell pepper, onion, and celery. So we're gonna cook this down. And remember, I'm not doing the flour at all root because I don't want the carb. It's too much. So I'm gonna be eating rice with this, so we're not gonna do a carb with it, okay? So, <clears throat> the fish is looking real good. Well, this is the shrimp. The fish is right there. Like I said, I'm not gonna add the fish back in until later. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start adding some thyme. And you know you can add, uh, this is not working for me. You can add a, t a teaspoon of thyme, right? Start with an eighth of a teaspoon if you're not good with that. I forgot about my bell pep, my bay leaf. I got, I'm gonna use three bay leaf, okay? And then I'm gonna use some oregano. Right. With that being said, we're gonna move that out the way. Get my slurry stirred up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some. Okay, yeah, it's cooking down good. It smells so good up in here, y'all. It really do. I'm thankful. I'm very happy for the dishes I create. That's that act right to me. So here's some parsley flakes. We're gonna drop some parsley flakes in there. And that's about two tablespoons. You know I eye everything. If you watch my channel, you know I eye everything. We got some uh, garlic powder. Okay. I got a little cayenne pepper. I love me some cayenne pepper, right? Okay, a little bit of cayenne pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and finish stirring this up. That's smelling so good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Then I gotta add, you know it, some tomato paste. That's two tablespoons of tomato paste. If I need more, I will add more. Drop that down in there. Let that cook up. And I got my, my shrimp broth. I do have that. I have my shrimp broth. That's looking good, y'all. It's smelling good. I'm really happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sugar, not even a teaspoon. And what you say, I use sugar puff. That's the cup, the acidic flavor of tomatoes and things like that, right? So then I'm gonna drop some lemon juice. Little hits of lemon juice. I got my Tabasco sauce. 
couple of hits of Tabasco, okay? Ooh, that smell good, y'all. I'm gonna hit y'all with that red wine. <clears throat> Remember, I'm not going to add, I'm not adding that in, the fish in, until after. So I'm going to also use some chicken broth. And you know you got to let it come to a boil. So this is Cubion. I'm going to add one more thing. It's a little too orange for me. I'm going to add one more. Spoon of tomato paste. I don't want it orange. So we're letting it come to a boil. You know what I got. And it's right here. That is my good shrimp stock. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it's coming to a boil. Come on, come on and make it happen for me. I'm loving that. You know I'm going to test it. Don't worry. You know I'm going to test it. And I got some good old shrimp bouillon, okay? I'm going to drop some of that in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, it's less than a teaspoon. Because that could be a little, it could be a little bit potent. And you know, those things come with like um, a lot of salt. So we want to be careful with salt. If you notice, you never see me cooking too much with salt because the, the New Orleans ingredients in it, we have all that stuff. So yeah, we don't really need to add extra salt in our food because our seasonings, we do well by seasoning. We really do. Like I said, the fish is going to be last. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my shrimp stock. This is going to cool it down. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. It should be hot on hot whenever you're cooking. It should be hot on hot, but we're going we're gonna to let it come back to a ball. I'm not supposed to do that, but I did it anyway. It's my kitchen. So moving that to the side. I forgot my black pepper. I know I already use cayenne pepper, but I like to blend stuff, okay? I like a lot of different seasonings, and I know y'all didn't see me use no Creole seasoning yet, but it's coming. It is coming. So, let's see. That fish looks so good. It's going to go well in this dish. I know it's not thick. But we're going to get it there, so don't worry, okay? We got what this, this flurry is for right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add that in slowly. I'm making a mess here, y'all. Sorry. I'm making a mess. Let that come to a boil. Clean that up. Alright, so it's looking good, child. It's going to begin to thicken up. This is a good old traditional dish. You might cook this on a Sunday. 
You can cook it on a Saturday. If you feel like eating it on a Wednesday, do it on a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm going to do a taste, but I want to let everything marry together a little bit more before I go ahead and taste it and before I add the fish in there, okay? See if I need a little more seasoning, all right? But it's thickening up, and I'm loving that. So let's see. I'm going to get old trusty dusty spoon out and see what we're working with. <laughs> That's good. That is good. You know I'm going to add a little more Creole seasoning in there. That is good, you guys. Yes, indeed, Lord. That's good. This is a dish that you could slap somebody else mama for, not me, because my children won't allow it. So I'm loving this. This is real good. It's delicious. It's tasty. And we're going to go ahead and add the fish back in. Oh, this is good. I'm going to add the fish back in. Remember, I use sway. And this is what I wanted to do. And this is what it is. This is Cubillon, my way, fish stew, red gravy. Right? So hey, there you have it. Another dish I'm really thankful for. It's well pleasing. And I'm gonna serve it over some rice. You know you're gonna see the finishing touches. This is in the kitchen with Angela. All things New Orleans, Creole roots in the house. Turning this down is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up and let it simmer. I'll turn it all the way down. So that is our Cubillon dish for the day. If you like my videos anymore, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, like, invite others to my channel, and also hit the description down below so you can get this recipe and more. This is Angela signing out. I hope y'all have a fabulous Sunday. Have a great day.